My name is Matt Markley. I'm an IT manager I'm from Santa Clarita, California. I'm here for Jax Markley, who is forever 18. More than anything, Jax was for me the embodiment of empathy. What I would like people to remember most about Jax is the loving kindness and empathy that they showed to everything and everyone uh, that they came across. Uh, I remember one day we were driving down the street and uh, there was a bunch of cars stopped. We found that uh, in front of one of the cars was a, a little duckling that had a broken wing or leg or something. And well, Jax jumped out of the car and had to come to its aid and was quite insistent, even it being a Sunday night, I think, to try to find a vet or somebody to help it. Uh, that was Jax. And they were not happy until we found a place to get it help. Uh, Jax was just very empathetic and just was just had an easy way of seeing the other side of things and, and the other person's feeling across from them. And I really miss that. So we found that um, Jax had received fentanyl pressed in the form of Xanax. There was no question. They believed that this was Xanax that they were consuming. That's our knowledge. Uh, the transaction took place between Instagram and texting. And it seems that this person was local and had recruited Jax to sell um, fake Xanax to, even delivered it to our house. To the best of our knowledge, Jax uh, smoked the, uh, the tablet, as we've since learned, a lot of kids do, uh, I, I suppose to be on the safe side rather than just taking it, uh, ironically enough. Um, we found Jax sitting up on the end of their bed the next morning with the paraphernalia still there in hand with a pained expression on their face. I will never, ever forget that. That's how fast this fentanyl does what it does. One of the things that I've noticed is this removal of this uh, kind of base of worry that we always had for Jax's well-being, dealing with mental health issues, some depression, like a lot of kids deal with, which brought us to where we are. A, a lifting of that worry and, and a need to fill that void with something that has meaning, which is what brings us all here, I think. Just to be able to maybe save somebody else from this grief that we feel. It never it said away. fentanyl is everywhere. Count on it, bet on it. Don't ever forget this. It's disguised as everything else. You will not see it coming. 